Welcome to Mind Explosions, where we're going to tell you the real-world story of how the McDonald's fast food franchise came to be. So buckle in, hit that like and subscribe button, and dive right into a fast food-tacular experience. Once upon a time in the sunny town of San Bernardino, California, during the 1940s, two brothers named Richard and Maurice McDonald ran a small barbecue restaurant. They were hardworking and had a brilliant idea to deliver food quickly to customers. They called the innovative concept the speedy service system. At first, they served a variety of foods, but soon they realized that their most popular items were hamburgers, cheeseburgers, fries, shakes, and soft drinks. Inspired by their customers' preferences, they decided to focus solely on these delicious and simple offerings. In 1954, a man named Ray Kroc, who sold multi-mixer milkshake machines, stumbled upon the McDonald's Brothers restaurant. Ray was amazed by the efficiency and quality of their operation. He saw potential for something extraordinary nationwide and a chain of fast food restaurants. Excited by the idea, Ray Kroc approached the brothers and proposed a partnership. They agreed, and together they established the first official McDonald's franchise in the Plains, Illinois, 1955. This restaurant became the starting point for what would eventually become a global fast food empire. The franchise model was revolutionary. It allowed people from all walks of life to become McDonald's restaurant owners and share in the success of the brand. This sparked a rapid expansion of McDonald's restaurants across the United States and beyond. In 1961, the famous Golden Arches logo was introduced, becoming a symbol of the brand's friendly and innovating atmosphere. People recognized these arches from miles away, drawing them in for a taste of the delicious food. As the years passed, McDonald's continued to grow, opening restaurants in countries around the world. Each new restaurant brought with it a familiar scent of french fries and joyful sounds. What they weren't telling you, however, was that they were actually also using this as a way of acquiring property. You see, it was one thing to simply own a franchise, it was another to own the land on which the franchise was being built. Thus began the land accumulation element of McDonald's that continues to this day. Throughout its journey, McDonald's has faced many challenges, adapting to the changing tastes and concerns of its customers. It worked hard to address some health concerns by offering healthier menu options and nutritional information, but in reality it's still all hot trash. The things that make McDonald's delicious are the very reason it's so bad for you. Fats, salts, and sugars, the three things rare to find in nature, are on their own all hyper-packaged into a taste sensation that keeps you addicted in the same way drugs are dealt. There's also some horrible things about the company that you should know, such as deforestation. McDonald's has been a major driver in deforestation in regions like the Amazon rainforest, where vast areas have been cleared to make way for cattle ranching and soy production. This has led to the loss of biodiversity, disruption of ecosystems, and increased greenhouse gas emissions. The production of beef and the transportation of goods for McDonald's restaurants generates enormous amounts of greenhouse gases, exacerbating climate change and contributing to extreme weather events, raising sea levels and the environmental collapse of the entire planet. Also, there's an intensive agricultural practice associated with McDonald's supply chain that requires vast amounts of water, leading to water scarcity in affected regions. Moreover, runoff from industrial farming can pollute water bodies and harm local communities. There's also the sheer scale of McDonald's operations that result in enormous amounts of waste. Despite their efforts towards recycling and waste reduction, there remains a significant environmental burden caused by their disposable packaging and food waste. In conclusion, we stand at a critical juncture where the decisions we make today will shape the future of our planet. By acknowledging the worst environmental disasters caused by McDonald's and taking proactive steps to address them, we can pave the way for a more sustainable and environmentally responsible future. Let us unite in our efforts to ensure that we hold McDonald's accountable, despite the fact that we're all addicted and junkies for its delicious hamburger sweetness. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Could you do us a favor and please share this video in every corner of the internet? You can start with Reddit, find a subreddit, and then post this video alongside any other place you know where it can do some numbers because it helps get the message out and spread us like a delicious butter of knowledge upon the bread of the world. 